This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with another Checkmate deck. This is uh, the most interesting list that came out in San Diego uh, Regionals, no doubt about it. Jacob Chan actually decided to just uh, drop his entire binder into a deck and that's what we're going to be playtesting with today. This is the 10th place winning list so it's actually doing something significant and uh, we are already knowing, uh, we are familiar with the term Checkmate. The reasoning for that is that we're going to use Stinger GX, we're going to abuse that and after we've used Stinger GX, the turn after that we uh, will most likely win the game. We can move around damage counters thanks to Tapu Lele's magical swap, we have counter gain in combination with fairy energies, we also have the Weezing here uh, with the blow away bomb, if we discard it with the effect of Roxy, we can put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, so everything gets damage counters. Same goes for the effect of the coughing, so we're going to be running a Tick Roxy line. This is actually, funny enough, the uh, deck we faced off against, uh, uh, yeah, in the last video, we uh, faced off against this deck and I did not even know of the existence of this deck. So now we're going to be testing uh, it out for ourselves. So we have Weezing and uh, Coughing to discard them with Roxy. We have Nighted out with the Stinger GX, uh, thanks to of course the uh, triple accelerated energy. So now we know we're gonna use Stinger GX. We're gonna be placing around damage counters. Tyroke in that instance can also help us out. Uh, and we can just uh, flip a coin of heads, put three damage counters on one of the opponent's Pokemon. This is uh, useful for those cases where we cannot attack and we just want to end our turn. We can use that. We of course have a Persian GX, which can uh, use the Catwalk to just get the combination pieces. The good news is that with uh, the uh, effect of the uh, Island Challenge Amulet. Persian Jax only gives up one prize card, which is fantastic. You might see everything in this deck. Well, there's everything in this deck. Of course, we are gonna have rely on the Pidgeotto Airmail. That means we're gonna be running the Elms Lecture to have our initial draw. Uh, initial draw with Airmail in combination with Roxy will give us a lot of cards and uh, that will actually uh, give us everything we possibly need. So no need to resort to uh, Steven's Resolve. We're just gonna go crazy with Roxy and Elms Lecture. What else do we see in a list like this? Jirachi to get even more consistency going around. Oranguru to get ourselves some puzzle pieces back like uh, the coughing and the wheezings or whatever we need. We have Faba to get rid of uh, annoying stadium cards, special energies whatsoever. Put them, them directly into the Lost Zone and that's very, very significant. We have a Ditto which can evolve into practically anything. It can go into Nagnadel. We even have a one Nagnadel from Lost Thunder with Turning Point. Sometimes that can come out of nowhere if the opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining. We can use Turning Point out of nowhere to one hit KO a Mewtwo and take our all prize cards. That can happen from time to time. We have a little Ninetales with the Luminous Barrier, the one from Team Up, being invincible for GXs and as we've seen with the Lucario Mel Metal deck, it's very uh, hard to go around this effect. Yeah, typically you have Power Plan, but this does not work for a little Ninetales, so that's why it's crazy. And then the most ridiculous part of it, it also has the Whimsica GX. Not only for the Toy Box GX, you can also turn this into a one prize attacker with of course the uh, Island Challenge Amulet, but uh, the uh, Energy Blow can also dish out serious amounts of damage against uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia, and we also have protection with the Fluffy Cotton. Sometimes they miss and we win games with that. So a uh, very, very strange list. We do have a Lana's Fishing Rod and uh, that means we can uh, abuse Oranguru. We can maybe even use it twice if we need be. And uh, there's also a certain one-offs like Mew to protect our bench and then the Mimikyu to shut down the opponent's GXs if they have damage counters. Very easy to do thanks to Weezing. So you can make sure that the Mew to deck does not do anything. And hopefully we'll be able to showcase that in this video. So uh, as mentioned, there is three Fairy Energies in here and four Triple Accelerated Energies. So I am uh, calling it Binder Drop as Jacob Chen uh, did itself. And he actually got 10, so it's a very, very nice way to go about new decks. Binder drop, and uh, here we have it next to Checkmate. Checkmate is a very similar archetype uh, using Steven's Resolve and Nagnadel GX to draw cards. This time around, it's Pidgeotto drawing cards in combination with the supporter Roxy. We have not seen any uh, great plays with Roxy, but this time around, uh, Jacob Chan, make sure that we remember the name that Roxy is good. Roxy in combination with uh, the coughing and the wheezing can draw you a lot of cards. You don't even need to discard them for the effect. You can even discard your Orangro or whatever. If you don't need anything, just discard them and you draw six cards with that supporter. That's how good it is. We're facing off probably against Mewtwo, which is fantastic, or maybe Abilities Art. They're always saying hello, we're gonna say, uh, yeah, we're gonna go first and we're gonna say hello. So are we able to destroy Mewtwo with this weird list? Not only do we have Alolan Ninetales, we have the necessary effect of Roxy and the insane, um, 
way to go about this is going with the uh, wheezing effect. If we discard wheezing or coughing, we can make sure that the opponent is not doing anything. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go for uh, communication. That means we can search out whatever we want. And I think I'll be... Uh, do we already get rid of a coughing? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go for a Pidgeotto so we can get Pidgeys up and rolling. He could go with the GX move. That gets me a little bit worried some, uh, but we definitely want to evolve this Ditto as quickly as possible. So I think I'm gonna go for Ditto and two Pidgeys. I think uh, that's fine. Also, this Braddy Kick can also dish out some damage early game, which has got me a little bit interested. Although, against Mewtwo, I don't know what the exact game plan is, but getting this Mimikyu up and rolling is probably our best bet. So I'm gonna go for the Mimikyu, so we can shut down Mewtwo. I do think we're up against Mewtwo though. So here goes the uh, Elm's Lecture, and we will be grabbing ourselves... First things first, uh, uh, Pidgey. Uh, another Ditto here. Ditto, Pidgey, and then I'm gonna take the 60 HP Pidgey. And do we get a coughing so we can go crazy with Roxy? Who knows? Or immediately a Pidgeotto. I think Pidgeotto is the best bet so we can draw into like more puzzle pieces like another Roxy or maybe a Pokemon, Pokemon communication, all that kind of stuff. Maybe that communication was uh, used a little bit too early. Well, yeah, this is the first time we're playing with this weird deck so uh, give, cut me a little bit of slack, right? So we got a Pidgey up and rolling, we get a Ditto. And uh, we even have the uh, Stellar Wish here getting ourselves another L. This is actually not bad. That means we can set up uh, some more Pokemon like Pidgeotto, Roxy, Counter Gain. Yeah, we'll see how we go from there. I'm gonna get this other Elm here. Hopefully he will not be able to destroy all of our Pokemon. If we see a Mewtwo, we are gonna make sure that we can get, of course, a Coughing so we can discard it with Roxy so it becomes useless. We could already attach that Fairy Energy, but I'm gonna wait uh, so he leaves my Ditto alone. If he destroys our Ditto, that means we can no longer get out Alolan Ninetales. And I think Alolan Ninetales is probably going to be a must in this scenario. So he's using Jirachi as well. I don't know if this was the correct play to get ourselves uh, rolling here. We only have one Pidgeotto so far. But we can get out multiple ones later. The bad thing is that this kind of a list will have Venom Shell. So we also need to get out Mew to protect us against that scenario. 60 HP. Okay, there goes Mew too. We have to be afraid of uh, Cross Division. Cross Division is the thing that can slow us down a lot, although we can evolve immediately into Stinger GX to uh, even the playing field. Okay, we have the Mimikyu, so he has to be afraid here. There is not a Psychic Energy in there, so we are kind of safe. He does have the Weakness Guard Energy, so even if we Stinger, we cannot hit for Weakness, which is a little bit worrisome in my opinion. So we have Stellar Wish and we have the Pidgeotto. Okay, there goes the Dene. Discarding Mellow and Lala, Rainbow Energy. There's a Stealthy Hood, hopefully Espeon Deox is surprised, otherwise things will turn out very nasty. He could sweep our entire, uh, yeah, field here. Hopefully we'll be able to get, of course, our, yeah, oh, Espeon Deox is, don't want to see that at all. Hopefully things will turn out okay. There's already one Rainbow in the discard and Guzma and Hala as well. So hopefully he only runs Rainbow Energies, things will go alright. Okay, first things first, we have Pidgeotto, which is fantastic. So we can uh, at least, uh, I think I'm gonna go for, yeah, they already conceived. What is this? I just want to showcase this deck. If we would have made that Mewtwo in the, yeah, with Mimikyu, he would have not been able to use the attacks. So that is going to be the main strategy. You want to get out that Mimikyu so you automatically win against Mewtwo so they cannot even cross the vision at all. That's why we decided to get, of course, that Mimikyu in initially. Maybe he was afraid like, oh no, he already has it. Maybe you should put in one Shrine of uh, Punishment in this list. It looks very interesting. Next up, we are facing off against Metal and Fighting. Interesting. We lost the coin flip, which is not good for this kind of a deck, although anything is irrelevant as soon as we get the Stinger GX off. Okay, we have uh, Pidgey, that's it, the only lonely Pidgey. Will it be able to draw a card? Will we survive one hit? We'll, we'll, see, we'll see, we'll see how red this turns out because this is very scary. We uh, go second and uh, this looks to be, yeah, Lucario Melmetal. The only thing we need to do in that matchup is just get this guy out. Very, okay, we get some mulligans, that does help. The only thing we need is like a ditto. So we're gonna get out this Jirachi and uh, the rest is irrelevant. Definitely in this matchup since he is not using abilities so we can just uh, get rid of this with Roxy and uh, hopefully we will be able to get of course our ditto rolling. As soon as we get a little Ninetales, we win this matchup. That's how significant this uh, kind of list is. I know what this already is. This is uh, Lucario with Amastars. That was the fighting type and the... Uh, 
yeah, typing description before we battle. So tackle, probably gonna see... I don't even care what he, he shows us. We only need to get out this guy. If he knows this, we could get screwed over. If he doesn't, he might just think this is kind of a weird list. If he has not uh, noticed this list so far, we should be good. Okay. As soon as he gets a green, he has to attack the, uh, the Ditto. If we can uh, find an Elm's Lecture, that is. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna give an energy to this Pidgey and we will retreat, so hopefully we will find our Elm's Lecture. Da -da -da -da. Stellar Witch, Elm's Lecture is live. So what do we need? A Ditto, immediately. Let's get um, up and rolling. So we get... Yeah, we will not be able to use items thanks to Amistar. I don't even care at this point. The only thing I need is this Ditto. Another thing that could be interesting is uh, the Tyroke to put around a little bit of damage. Although getting another Pidgey and a Pidgeotto is probably better. To draw us out of that nasty situation. Although we have a Coughing and Hander Roxy could also draw a lot of cards. I think this is going to be necessary here. Drawing cards is key. I'm going to smack down this Pidgey. I'm going to smack down this Ditto. We're going to wait with attaching energies because we already did that. And uh, now we're going to pass the turn. So we'll see how he goes about this. If he knocks out our Ditto... He is in a good position. Will he be clever enough to do that? Fiery Flint. Or maybe he doesn't even know what he's up against. So now the tables have turned. Uh, yesterday we played the Lucario Mel Metal deck. Now we already know what uh, the deck we faced against has a weakness. So if they target Ditto, they should be good. But they need a green in the hand right away. But they opted to go for Cynthia and Catelyn here. So hopefully they with the green. If they wave the green, they don't have custom catchers, we evolve and uh, we should be able to lock this game down. Then we just give some energies to the Alolan Ninetales and uh, that should be it. The only thing we need to do is like get out Oranguru so we can recover uh, an energy, although you can... Yeah, that's the only way we'll be able to get, of course, the energy back. Both fairy energy, so we only need to, like the Oranguru, giving him one fairy energy and then we can get back the other two fairy energies. That's how we will be able to do this. Okay, still first, we survive. Okay, that is game. Game immediately. There's nothing he can do. He's just gonna see this Alolan Ninetales and he's probably, probably gonna scoop. So, yeah, there we have him. Alolan Ninetales is live. We're gonna get out some Pidgeys. And uh, there's probably nothing he can do at this point. Don't wanna overbench some stuff. I think I'm gonna go for an Airmail first. And uh, we'll get out... Yeah, just get out Poipole. We could Stinger GX, that means we only need to knock out this guy. Uh, another airmail. Uh, we could thin out the deck. I'm just gonna get this Lana's Fishing Rod. Next up, Stellar Wish. Gets us nothing that we want. So we're gonna go for a Roxy. Good old Roxy will be able to discard Jirachi and Mimikyu that we don't need. And now we're drawing six cards. That's how crazy Roxy is. Look at this. So we have communication, so we could technically find our Oranguru here. So let's use communication, get that Whimsicott back in the deck, like what is this? Uh, Oranguru is in here, so let's grab Oranguru. Ty Tyro could also be very interesting for decks that do not run uh, Custom Catcher. But this list does run Custom Catcher, so I'm gonna go for this because... Yeah, we only have three Fairy Energies and uh, we do have the Counter Gain, which could come in handy. Could come in handy, but not right now. Yeah, for now, one energy to the uh, Alolan Ninetales. Not gonna bench down Oranguru right away. I think I'm just gonna go for... Uh, we have some stuff in the discard that we don't need. This can also get back tool card, like the energy gain, for instance. But right now, he could destroy us. This guy can also destroy our Oranguru. That is something we don't want. So maybe we draw into our skateboard so we can have some uh, flexibility. This guy... Can only take three knockouts at this point. We just need to just pass the turns every single time and uh, also save our Tate and Liza as we've seen to win the game. So now all of our um, items are done for. Okay. Heavy impact. Actually, we don't need to do anything. We can just deck him out because this kind of a list does not run shuffle cards. Here is the Alolan Ninetale. So, we could give him an energy and then retreat, but that is going to be not too interesting. He could also use his GX move, which is very, very scary. Maybe we should have promoted a Pidgeotto. Oh well, let's grab ourselves some stuff. 
and maybe we will draw out of it. Faba? Yeah, Roxy is actually better. Faba could get rid of that uh, frying pan, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, what do we need? Roxy, we still have a shuffle supporter, so let's get rid of Weezing. And the Poipo. There we go. Da -da -da -da. We draw a bunch of cards. Oof, even a stamp. Yeah, we like to put one damage counter on each of the opponent's Pokemon. Bam! The bad news is he's gonna get rid of all of our all of our energies. Unfortunately. And there's no way we can go about this. We need to use like the Oranguru to put our energies back. Hmm. How do we go about this? Could give this guy an energy so we can retreat and save what we have. Could go for the custom catcher though. If he uses the GX move, we already lose one of our energies, which is also scary. Huh. Let's give him one heck of a shot. The only thing we need is like our escape board, so we can, uh, he, he might use his GX move. Use our escape board, get our Anguru, get that one energy, and uh, then get the two energies back. As long as we are able to use counter gain, we shouldn't be afraid at all. Because with counter gain, our anger can uh, use research management for zero energies. Okay, here comes Fiddle Mall Wall GX. And uh, yeah, we are unaffected by these uh, special effects here. Okay, what do we need? Airmail. Here is the escape board. Fantastic, just what we needed. And the escape board will be able to get ourselves the energies back. But that's gonna be for later. Just gonna give that a skateboard. Yeah, we can't even give the a skateboard. Very funny. And this guy can heal like crazy. So we are in a nasty situation here. We can just pass. Actually, we can definitely pass. As soon as we like use Tate and Liza, we should be good. So. Huh. Interesting. We could manually retreat into Oranguru and get the energies back that way. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go that route. So we retreat to Oranguru. We are gonna give one fairy energy to Oranguru and then we are gonna... Also, I'm gonna use the Elm's Lecture here just to check what is still in the deck. We have some coughings. Uh, the Tate and Liza is in there. That is very crucial. Okay, still gonna grab this. Dude, those two could also help out, I guess. Nah, we have a Roxy. Nah, we don't have a Roxy. Just gonna get this Tyroke. The only thing we need right here is the Tyroke. So I'm just gonna use the Research Management. And we are gonna get back. Energy, energy. Hmm. What else? Pleasing? Yeah, at this point, there's nothing we could we have to do here at this point. We're just gonna promote our PG Auto and just gonna stall it out. He has no means to just discard cards from his hand, so or actually to shuffle. Pokey Gear with he can knock out our Orangaroo, which is fine. Green, he can grab whatever he wants. And at this point, we just give energies to Alolo Ninetales and try to knock this guy out. We will always be behind in prize cards. Fairy, ah, just the crazy part is that the only thing you need to do is like put a little Ninetales in the active and just pass. That's the only thing we need to do. Will the opponent last? Although Cynthia and Catelyn can recover certain pieces like Lusamine, so he can uh, Lusamine at least a couple of times. And with Lusamine, you can get back Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay, let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going. This is actually turning into a nasty situation. We actually, actually need to act quick. Slash back, 150. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice these guys. Also gonna, huh, let's see here. Stinger GX 
to three cards. I wonder. Even though there's nothing he can do at this point, so. I think I'm just gonna test something out. We're just gonna pass it out. Loosen me loop with the Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay, he doesn't knock us out. We're just passing the turn here. Okay, Fava could be interesting. We can't play any cards, right? But we could attach two retreats. So, at this point, a Stinger could be nice. If I bench down a Poipole, he can attack immediately, right? I'm gonna wait. I'll, I'll see what he does. This is a stall war, man. Yeah, just gonna use this. Huh. Ready kick, how about that? Should have used that earlier, no? He's gonna go for the custom catchers. No, he's gonna go on the offensive. That's a KO. Fine. So he's at three. There's nothing we can do about this, so we're gonna go with Braddy Kicks. Oh yeah, the Braddy Kicks are kicking in. Does he have Mellow and Lana's left? Probably. We smack 150 with a Persian. We have a Faba. Huh, dude, can we knock this guy out if we stamp him? We just have to wait until we can use our items. Yeah, the bratty kicks are kicking in, it's insane. Okay, 150. We cannot stamp him at this point. As soon as he knocks something out, we can stamp him. I wonder what he's up to. We can use the Tate and Liza for the switch. That is an option. Tate and Liza for the switch. Very strange match. I wonder what I should do. Wonder what I should do. If we smack down Poipol, he's gonna use Mallow and Lana either way. Stinger. I don't know how to play with these kind of decks, it's just insane. I just wanna keep my Tate and Liza so we are good. Yeah, I'm gonna smack this guy down and see what he does. <laughs> wow, this Tyrogue is on an insane amount of streaks here. Bam. 180. RGX move slash back smacks 150. Vengeance can also uh, does 20 more for each Pokemon in our discard pile. That can have, add up to 190 damage. 190 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven Pokemon. Okay. At this point, seven Pokemon. 20 more damage for each uh, Pokemon in your discard pile, so that's 150 as well. 150, my reducing by. Wow, we cannot get our uh, little Ninetales out of the active position because we are item locked, unfortunately. But we have the Tate and Liza to switch. With Tate and Liza, we can switch and smack 150 damage minus the 60. Uh, 150 minus 60 is 90. 90, that, I think that's enough. I think I'm gonna go for it. Here comes Tate and Liza for the switch. And uh, minus the attack here. The Vengeance should be able to do the trick. Right? Bam! Here it goes. Persian, 90 damage. Just what we needed. Okay, we got three prize cards. We are still item locked, but he has a very slow way of uh, getting back in the game here. The only thing we need to do is like knock out another Lucario Mel Metal and see how we go from there. This this uh, almost star is also uh, very annoying. How many energies in the discard pile? Two. Now you still have fire energies left. Attachment of the turn. That's very slow. 
He could stamp us. Okay, he retreats. Fortunately. Okay. I see how we go about this. So, we are gonna go with Faba. And we're gonna get rid of that. Tool card. Now that we have this, we can use 150 damage. We can add that up with Roxy, but we already use the supporter, so that's unfortunate. Let's see here. What does, we, we don't have any shuffle supporters left, unfortunately, so we cannot go crazy with Pidgeotto. Weezing could put uh, some damage around. A vengeance. Bam. 120. Okay. If he doesn't uh, heal this guy off, we should be good. And if he does do it, we still have options left. Leave this guy stuck. Does this does run, list run any switches? That's what I... Yeah, definitely run switches, so... Lusamine getting back to Cynthia and Catelyn. This is a very strange match, uh, fellas. So, uh, Steel Fist, he's getting, of course, the energies that he wants. So next turn, we are gonna get striked with damage. Okay, so this guy has 120, we smack not too much damage, but we can use Roxy here to get rid of some more Pokemon, and we cannot even use communication, so maybe we can find some coughings or wheezings in the airmail, nope, not a success, although, yeah, with Elm we can definitely grab them. Da -da -da. All right, what else? Uh, I think there's not a lot of things to say here. We're gonna use Roxy, get two more Pokemon in this card pile. That's uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 180, 190, minus the 30 damage is uh, victory, I guess. 190 minus the 30 is definitely enough. So we're gonna go with Roxy, get rid of this guy, get rid of uh, Pidgey, why not? Now we get everything that we want. So here comes the triple accelerated energy. And now we're gonna say uh, well played because this was very, very weird. I wanted to use the checkmate style, but uh, things ended up differently. So here comes Persian getting the victory here. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, checkmate style. It takes a little bit of time to master because you have so many options. You can you go with the whimsy cut route. You can go with Nagnadal, you can go with the Tapu Lele moving the damage counters around, but this deck has an answer against everything. Definitely check it out, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.